Hey, today we're going to try fitting a variety of items into this Think Tank Signature 13 camera bag. A really quick overview of the features of the Signature 13 shows that it has leather, real genuine leather, underneath, on the shoulder strap, on the handle, as well as genuine leather, it has metal cusps, which are very durable. They can turn. It's really practical. The wool-like fabric has a rain-resistant coating. But if you want to take it out into some real bad weather, this comes with a rain shield. It only takes a few seconds to attach it. Now your camera gear is 100% safe. What's interesting about the Think Tank Signature 13 bag is the quilted separation pieces of cloth. These can be removed by the Velcro and then placed however you wish to make different compartments. For this first load, we're going to stick with this configuration of three separate compartments. We also have a front pocket which can be loaded with, a, for example, a book. And in the back, there is the compartment for a 13 inch tablet or laptop, hence the name Signature 13. There is also an additional smaller pocket right behind it. Here's the Sigma 70 to 200 sports version. We can easily see that it fits into one of the bigger rooms here. We could have even made this smaller. The gorgeous Mamiya C330 Professional S. The camera will fit right into this compartment. And as you can see here, I've put an extra padding here to protect the lenses. Slips right in with even some roof space. Next we have this classic high-end fashion camera, the Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2. Let's see how this fits in the bag. Fits like a glove. Next, let's add some additional padding. This now created a new department. Let's now remove the Mamiya C330 and add in the RZ's lens. Now the bag is holding one Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2 and a 90mm lens with a lot of extra space to spare. Let's create an extra compartment. This, insert that right over the lens. Now we have an extra room for an additional lens. In the small side pocket at the very end here, you can fit a flash. For the sake of keeping it old school, let's add in this vintage Minolta flash. Fits in very tight. If you want to add a digital camera to your bag, you could add that right here. Here's an additional space for anything extra. You could uh, slide a book in, in the front here. For example, a digital photographer dummies book fits perfectly. Now let's wrap this up. Now we have one old school packed bag full of old school cameras. Let's check out another setup real quick. This time, let's add in some more modern equipment. Sports shooters rejoice. The Sigma 70 to 200. Let's make this compartment a little more snugger. Keep in mind that you will only have to do this once, once you've found your preferred setup. Next, let's add in our mirrorless camera. Let's add in another lens. Let's give it some protection. And then let's slip in an adapter. Let's add in the charger. A cloth. Rocket Air, Optic Spray, a backed up battery. As you can see, we still have much room to spare. Let's add in a speed light flash. Just 
put that in the front pocket, snap on the buckle, zip up the top, buckle in the top, now we're good to go. Let's take a look at an alternative setup. As you can see, the setups are endless. You can just keep experimenting until you find your perfect setup. We're set to go. We sure did fit a lot of items into our think tank bag today. Let's take a look at all the items we actually managed to fit in there today. The Mamiya C330S. The high-end fashion camera, the Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2. And I've got a 90mm Seiko lens. The new Sigma 70-200 2.8 Sports. Don't forget the lens hood. My favorite portrait lens. The Canon EF 85mm 1.8. Here's the Godox flash. This is the TT685. The old vintage Minolta flash. I love my analog. So those were some of the items we fit into our bag today. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more exciting videos like this. I keep them coming almost on a daily basis. See you guys around.